I've been having some back pain. That one? Yeah. Or that one? That one. That's S3. <laughs> I feel weird to not have pain. Welcome to the office. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the office. <laughs> Thank you. How can I help you? Um, I've been having some back pain. I've always had back pain. Okay. And so I was just, it's something that I've dealt with. When so did this all start? When I started having kids. Okay. How many yeah. kids? I have three. Were any of them C-sections? No. What was um, the time, the, the time interval between kids? So the first one years. you had in 2014, mm -hmm. second one you had? 2016. 2016, third one you had? 2019. About three months pregnant, I wasn't showing. I wasn't able to get out of bed. I wasn't able to tie my shoe. I wasn't able, I slept on the side closer to the wall, so I wouldn't be able to crawl into bed. Okay. Um, I wasn't able to bend. It was... I don't know. If I sat down, I was going to stay sitting because there was no way I was going to get up. What would you do? Um, I went into physical therapy during my pregnancy. How many weeks pregnant when you started physical therapy? When I actually started, I was about eight months pregnant already. Okay. Um, but I had the trouble since the, after the first three months. Well, what happened? So you have back pain. Okay. There was no yeah. cause of it? Not that I know of. And it was a matter of just go for some therapy? Yeah. And do what? Stretch? Stretches. Stretches. Um, okay. The he thing that... Heat. Yeah. Um, the thing that they did a lot was um, one leg was always shorter than the other, and so it was always that same adjustment. I'd go once a week, and every single week, that was always the adjustment that was done. Adjustment meaning you were getting adjusted? Yeah. Spinal adjustments? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Um, but then after that therapy, I never did anything more. Okay, so you had your third baby, mm -hmm. and uh, but the back pain continued. Yeah. So what did you do? I dealt with it. What are you doing for activity? It, I'm going to call it minimal because okay. it's not much. So where are we at now? My neck started hurting. Like, I wasn't able to turn. To and the like right or to the left? Both ways. So, so if I turned this way, it'd go here, and then that's where it would hurt. And then this way, I'd barely be here, and it's starting. Like right now, it hurts a little bit. To but go to the I'd right. Be, I'd be able to do it, yeah. Anything else going on? I'm flat-footed. Number one is the neck pain. Mm. Upper back, right? Upper back neck. Yes. And turning to one side versus the other, it hurts more to turn right now to the right side. Yes. Than to the left side. And the back pain you've also had for some time. What we're looking at with the flat feet is first, does she have an arch? There's a little bit of an arch there. What I'm gonna have you do, cause we're gonna test to see, is this a structural or functional flat foot? There's two different types. So we have a little bit of an arch. Cross the other foot over. This one has less of an arch. Okay, what else? Knee pain, a lot of knee pain. Right, left, both. Both. I've noticed that if I'm on my knees for too long, my legs go numb. So number one is the back or the neck though? Back As of right, right now, my neck. Come on over here, please. And we're watching the overall walk. So she actually lifts her toes when she walks. Now, as she's walking, if we look at the low back, the left side goes down a lot more than the right. So she has some movement in the SI joints. There's no movement really here in the tailbone. It looks like the dimples are up here and you're moving more from your mid lumbar spine, you're not getting that movement through your hips as you should. Starting at the base of the neck is, we're getting 15 points of pressure, C1 left side. I'm getting C6, 10 points, left side. T6, left side. 10 points, S3, down low. S3, T6, C6, C1. We got four areas to, to investigate that. Her SI joints are actually moving decent, but when she does the left side, there's a whole, the whole sacrum is kind of going with it. And it's not because it's stuck on the right here, it's because of whatever's happening over here. Let's statically palpate, head down. And you can see as I'm running my fingers, this is all swollen and puffy. This is all swelling. It gets, it changes texture. So here it's puffy, but it gets puffier and more boggy right there. Tender? Mm -hmm. More tender at the top, more tender at the bottom. The top. This one here. Yeah. Head down, please. Same thing you can see, but the whole spine is swollen because of the imbalance. And it's all coming from right there. Are you laughing? 
Possibly. <laughs> Are you laughing more? Uh huh. You got the giggles? Because you pulling me forward big time with that left shoulder. Which one makes you laugh the most, Judy? That one? Yeah. Or that one? That one. That one, right? That's S3. <laughs> Remember the defense mechanism. <laughs> Let's put a game plan together. You ready? Okay. C6, T6, S3. So we're doing S3. She has a right, uh, she has a PR, but it's S3 for four millimeters in fear. S3, I'm slightly on the right side with the pisiform, and we're torquing clockwise. Hi. Hey. That's a piece. Gotcha. You're a tough lady. Thank you. T6. Relax the shoulders. Home run, lady. You okay there? Yeah. Okay. Walk back and forth two, three times. Tell me if anything is different so far. I feel less pressure, definitely. C6. Gotcha. Home run. Okay. Look to the left. Look to the right. Way more. <laughs> okay. Can I get a tiny bit more though? Mm -hmm. Tiny bit more of six. Relax there. Chin back. Just want a tiny bit more. Relax the chin down. Yeah. Good. I just want a tiny bit more. Good. Look up. That's the rest. But it, baby. Sit up straight, please. Okay. Look to the left. Que bueno? Mm -hmm. Look to the right. Diferente? Yes. One. We didn't touch C1. C1 is clear. C6 is zero. Nice. T5, 6 is clear, but we do have some heat reading down here. Let's see what happens. There's no break, but there's heat. Is that different in your low back? Yes. Let's feel, okay? Let's see if you got the giggles again. Back towards me. <laughs> Come on back. But I mean good giggles, not pain, <laughs> pain giggles, okay? Mira, five, S1. Different? Yes. And that's the bifida, S2. Different? Yes. S3. How come you're not giggling? It's not so bad anymore. Oh, nice. Bueno? Yeah. Gotcha. Shoulders. Shoulder. There you go. The left one is out more. We'll see where we're going to go from there. Bend the knee. Now listen, after this visit, you're going to go walk for 15, 20 minutes. You're not going to get back in the car. Because you're driving a few hours, mm -hmm. every 45 minutes, I'd like you to get out just for a minute, okay? All right. And stretch, please. What's different? Um, I don't feel pressure, so that's good. In your back it's, and neck? Yes. My neck feels sore, if anything. Mm -hmm. But... I feel weird to not have pain, if that makes sense. It actually does make sense. A lot of people live with their pain, and they think that that's their reality. Check the hands, please. Squeeze. Squeeze. Elbow. And lunate. Squeeze. Lunate. Squeeze. Questions? Nope. Welcome to the office. Thank you.